Let's take one basic chord and play it in six different levels of complexity. My name is Simon and I'm a guitarist, music producer and graphic designer from Norway. I'm here to share everything I've learned so far in my journey and document what I learned in real time. So in this video, we're going to focus on a major chord, a C major chord, but can of course apply all the levels to minor chords as well. So level one is basic open chords. And these are the first ones you typically learn on guitar. So for C major, it's going to look like this. Well, <laughs> not so much more to say about level one. So let's go to level two, colorful open chords. And some good chord options here are sus chords. So it's going to look like this. That's a sus four. And we also have a sus two. So it's almost the same as the open normal C major. We're just changing the third, so the second fret on the D string. That's the only note we are changing. And if you want to, you can also add the high E string, so it's going to sound like this. Then it's technically an add four chord, but yeah, doesn't matter too much. It sounds good. <laughs> and the same with the sus two chord. So this is a very good way to still play simple chords, but it just sounds way more interesting. Almost as interesting as my sparkling water with some flavor. It's not soda, it's water. All right, let's go to level three which is bar chords. And the two most important ones are this one. So just a normal C major, but as a bar chord. Personally, I prefer to play it like this. But both are fine. So that's a C major bar chord with a root note on the fifth string. Then if you find a root note on a sixth string, we have this one. Personally, I like to play it like this. So skip the A and skip the high E string. I just think it sounds less predictable. And bar chords are great because you can easily move them across the neck. So if you have a C major, but you want to play a D major, you just need to find a note D. Then you can play the same chord here. And now it's suddenly a D major. Let's go to level four, which is colorful bar chords. And again, we're going to use sus chords. So building on the shapes we just played, we have sus two and sus four. So the third is the only note we are changing. And let's play the same chords, but with a root note on a sixth string. So we have the sus two. And sus four. These are slightly harder to play, but they sound amazing. So my advice is to <laughs> try to learn to play them. Because once you learn them, you're going to be a very happy person. And as a happy person, you can go to level five, which is seventh bar chords. First important chord is this one. So that was the fifth string root. Let's start on the sixth string. Here we have this one. Thank you. 
If you swap out most of your normal major chords with seventh chords instead, your chords are going to sound way more interesting straight away. All right, let's go to level six, which is extended chords. So now we're talking major nine, major 11, 13, that kind of stuff. So a chord I really like is major nine. It's going to look like this. So almost the same as the major seven, just without the pinky. Sounds really open and beautiful, just like you. You can also play it with a sixth string in a bass. And it can look like this. If you want to really understand chords on a deeper level, I have a course called Chord Fundamentals on my website playwithaplan.com. Here you also get access to all my other courses to get better at guitar, and in general get more clarity and consistent progress. So that's playwithaplan.com, the link is going to be in the description. So to summarize, you have level 1, which is basic open chords. Level 2, which is colorful open chords. Specifically sus2 and sus4 chords. Then we have level 3, which is bar chords. Level 4, colorful bar chords, specifically sus chords again. Level 5, seventh chords as bar chords. Seventh bar chords. <laughs> Level 6, we looked at extended chords. In this case, major 9 chords, because they sound amazing. <laughs> and then we can keep on going, keep on going. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and what you think of this type of video. And if you want to see another video, you can click on the next video. <laughs> Bye!